All right, guys, excuse the not so optimal lighting. Sometimes you just have no control over nature. But today I wanted to talk about one of the best modifications you can make to any Leatherman or realistically just about any plier based multi-tool. And I originally came to this idea to do this modification because I own what I think is one of the best multi-tools in the world. And that is the G10 Leatherman Charge Plus. Now these are currently no longer made. So if you don't have these and you don't feel like going to eBay to spend $400 on one of these bad boys, then this is another potential option. Now, to begin with this mod, before we get into it, why I wanted to do this is because I really love the traction pattern on these G10 charge models. I think it is just unbeatable. Now, unfortunately, like I said, uh, Leatherman no longer makes that tool. So if you don't already own one, it can be very tricky. However, I did some investigating and while I was doing some modifications to the interior of my truck, I came across this really neat stuff on Amazon called Cat's Tongue. And no, I'm definitely not sponsored by them. But this stuff, as you guys can see, kind of looks a bit like a frag pattern. And the rubber that they use is super, super grippy. So what I thought was, one of my biggest complaints about these original or really any metal handled um, Leathermans or other multi-tools is that these are super, super slick. And if your hands are wet, if your hands are sweaty, if they are anything other than dry, I mean, heck, even dry, it is hard to, you know, get traction on these handles. So I came up with the idea to get some of this uh, cat's tongue and throw it on here. So basically, the way to do this mod is you're gonna need some scissors. It can be multi-tool scissors or it can just be straight up normal scissors. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is take some cat's tongue. I bought, I'd have to double check, but I believe you get them. I know I got mine in these like strips. I think there's like a 10 pack of these strips. So you'll basically need one of these packs of strips, cut it in half. And then I roughly, what I did was like I said, like you cut this whole strip in half and then roughly lay it over the handle that you're going to want to make. Um, for it and then you just cut out the outline in that the other thing you'll need to be mindful of is that on both the saw at least for the charge surge wave all of those they have one half of the handle scale so this handle scale and this handle scale have a notch here so that you can pull out your um, file and or saw so you'll need to keep that in mind um, when making that modification but outside of those two things basically you just want to cut your handle um, cut your handle shapes out roughly, and then you'll be good to go. So luckily, through the process of moving maggot, luckily through the process of moving magic, we actually have already done that. So let me throw these guys on here real quick. So basically, once you have your handle roughly shaped out, and for me, you know, like there's definitely people who are more perfectionists for this. I'm definitely a little bit more functional, but the thing that I really do like about this cat's claw is it's super easy to cut, and because of its grid-like pattern, it's actually super um, easy to like trace. So that's some, something that at least I really liked about it. And uh, yeah, this stuff definitely is like a really good material to use for this particular application. Might not be perfect for every application, but it definitely is pretty good. And the nice thing too is, even if you don't immediately get like the perfect fit for this, this stuff is super trimmable. Like I'm gonna come back through and like trim that up a little bit. But the nice part is, Super easy to cut and super easy to kind of adjust on the fly. All right, guys, so there you go. Maybe not the most perfect job as I'm not the most crafty or arts and crafty person, but I will say this definitely adds a ton of traction. And another really cool thing about these is it doesn't entirely eliminate that cold feeling of the metal handles or scales, but it definitely does help with these large contact pads being largely cover covered in a rubber material. Also too, I kind of like the frag pattern. It looks different for sure, like certainly not not trying to say you know if you're like an instagram person but if you are a bit of an instagram person you like throw this out here it's definitely going to get some attention because of this nice like frag looking pattern on it but overall this has been a pretty cool mod super easy to do i will include include a link down below to where you can get cat's tongue just like this stuff that I, you guys saw here and uh yeah so hopefully if you guys want to check this out you can get some cat's tongue and do it yourself like i said i think this is a little bit better my previous version of this was to do the same idea but with like um what was it 
duct tape, I believe it was. So that wasn't a bad solution, but this stuff is, you know, actually grippy. Like this stuff is textured and designed to be grippy as opposed to duct tape really wasn't designed to do that. So, um, you know, it wasn't bad, but this is definitely a step above. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Short kind of mod video. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. You just want to take one of these pieces, a cat's tongue, cut it out and trace your handle lines. Every multi-tool will be slightly different, but it's all pretty easy to do. So anyways, guys, definitely would recommend checking this out, especially if you don't have a, you know, G10 handled multi-tool like this one. Um, definitely is a nice little modification to do. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. As always, God bless and I'm out.